So Tony Dungy comes to ESPN. And then all of a sudden, Tony stops me and he says, Jason, I just got a question for you. What, how do you live out your faith in the workplace? Because he knew I was a believer, obviously, and we talked about Jesus a little bit. He says, how do you live out your faith in the workplace? And I was caught off guard by that question. And I said, Tony, I don't think I'm supposed to be at ESPN anymore, coach. I said, I think God might want me somewhere like in a sports and faith ministry, like Fellowship of Christian Athletes or Athletes in Action or something like that. I said, I don't know if I'm called here right now. And Jessica, I love Jessica. She's awesome. Jessica walks in front of Tony and she just comes up and she just stares at me like a stern mom looking at her son who had just came home with like a terrible report card or done the worst thing your kids ever, you know, the look that you give a kid. And she just looked at me and she goes, and I'm looking at her, I'm like, what did I do, Jess? She goes, you don't get it, do you? And I said, what don't I get? I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, look around you. And I said, we were in a studio. I was like, all right, I see 20 people. She's like, I said, no, look around you. Look at the place you're at. There's 4,000 people at ESPN right now in Bristol, Connecticut. She said, imagine this as a mission field and look at all the people that you can, you know, interact with, that you can be a light to, that you can impact. And I said to her, oh my gosh, you're right. And it was like a light bulb kind of just brightened up above my head. And I said, you're right. You're so right. And she said something that really stuck with me, and I, I still share it today. I share it a lot on my social media pages and things. She said, you need to bloom where you were planted. And right now, your purpose is you're planted at ESPN. And until God calls you away, and he will make it clear to you when he does, you are to be a light and you are to be an example of Christ here where you are in the workplace. And I was like, this woman is preaching to me right now. Like, this was awesome. But I was also kind of taken back by it. But it changed my life. It truly changed my life, and it changed my outlook and my focus on how I was going about my job every day.